Rudy, come on, you're gonna make us late. Bye, Rudy. I'm gonna miss you all day. Maybe I should go to the office with you. Well, you go to school and I'll go to the office. You sure you'll be okay? <laughs> I'll make it. You know, I worry about you sometimes. <laughs> Bye, baby. I'll see you later this afternoon. Somebody must have run outside naked. <laughs> Claire! You got your briefcase. I know a lot of people forgot their briefcase and went on to live normal lives. Does this make sense to you? A woman graduates from law school so she can run two and a half blocks to chase a child who says she does not like the sandwich she made. What kind of sandwich did you make for her? Rudy made the sandwich for herself. She said that tuna and peanut butter sounded great, but it just didn't look good between the bread. I agree with her. I love my work, and I'm doing great. But then I come home, and I have to help people who put their clothes on backward. Or they want a car. They don't know how to drive. Or they want to watch television all night long until their eyeballs pop out of the sockets and roll under the couch. There's the kids. No. No? No, I wanted to have the kids. That's important to us. But then I go to work and I sit at that desk for weeks, for hours, preparing a brief, and Mr. Greenbrook Sr. comes in to tell me the case has been settled out of court. I want to scream. So it's work. No. 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 No, I love my work. I just told you. I'm sorry. But then I come home again. People are crying. They need a button sewn on. Somebody's drinking bubble bath. Then it is the kids. No. It's the kids and work. No. Then it's me. <laughs> no. Well, then, Claire, what is it? What it is is a life that's so crowded, I don't have time to figure out what it is, because I'm going to be late for work. <laughs> oh! Well, then I can help. Now, listen to me. Stop, 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 stop. Listen to me, OK? Just listen to me. Just take it easy. Tonight, you and I go to dinner. Out to dinner, just the two of us, OK? I like that. Good. Now, here, 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 here. Think about this one. Here. Go to the Biltmore Hotel because I know the manager there. I delivered his baby, and he owes me because the baby does not look like him or his wife. <laughs> okay, dinner at the Biltmore. Dinner at the Biltmore. All right. Yeah. Wait. Whoa. Now listen. No. No. Hear me now. Hear me now. We 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 rent a limousine. Take us down to the Biltmore for the dinner, and then take a nice limo drive on the river with the moon bouncing off of the water, and you can see lights of the buildings and the boats going the boats? to the boats, please. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, it is. All right? Oh. Yeah. Thanks, Claire. Now, that's my... I'll see uh, you later. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I got one more, and this is it. We will stay over at the Biltmore. We're going to spend the night? Spend the night at the Biltmore. Without the children? Well, dear, if we take the children, why are we going? <laughs> tonight, we are not taking the children because tonight is you are not a mother night. Cliff, I think that's a wonderful idea. All right. Good. You like that, huh? I like that. OK. Now, you, you, you are relaxed. Now? I'm relaxed. You feel much better. I feel much better. And you kind of just smoothed out. I'm smooth. Yes, that's it. And you're late for work. Oh! <laughs>